The real power of an industrial revolution is not the emergence of a new technology. It's the impact that that technology has on the fundamental unit cost economics that drive contemporary business. I mean, you think about this. When steam arrived, we were able to reduce the unit costs of mechanical work. When electricity arrived, we could reduce the unit costs of providing distributed power. When semiconductors arrived, we could now reduce the unit cost of computing, the cloud, storage, the internet, the cost of distributing information. Now with AI, the real impact is going to be on the economics of knowledge work, or the unit cost of cognition, or basically the price of getting a smart decision made. But the thing you have to remember is that the change to the costs of your business are just like the first match. You get kind of an instant result. But the real bonfire happens when you get system level transformation. What I think is going to happen is that you're going to see this valuation gap between not tech companies and traditional companies, but basically between companies that have figured out how to leverage AI and those that haven't. And in every market, in every category, there's going to be winners and losers. There's going to be some who do things the usual way, and there's going to be others, some of you in this room today, who've figured out how to use tools like AI to fundamentally reinvent their operating models. See, my basic theory is this. We are unprepared for the decade that's coming. I don't think the real point of AI is cutting costs, being a little bit more efficient, uh, helping you write breakup texts to your partners. You know. I think it's bigger than that, because I think the most successful organizations in the 21st century will leverage AI to transform the experiences for everyone they serve. That means your customers, your employees, your partners, everyone in the entire franchise ecosystem. And that's a really big, powerful dream, I think, to hang on to. This really goes to the central question, which is, what is the value of human work? What should people be doing? What is the best use of our time? And I don't think leaders are going to go away, but we're going to have to walk a very difficult path in the future. On, on one side, we need a deep understanding of human complexity. And this is stuff that we've always done. You know, how do you, how do you incentivize people on a team? How do you create a great customer or employee experience? What's really important to create a powerful culture at work? These are not questions that computers can answer. There's also not enough. Increasingly, as leaders, you're going to be called on to understand how exactly should I apply AI and automation? Where can I use technology? How can I create better decisions at scale with, with not as many resources as people? All code today is either written with the help of or directly by AI. So does this mean we don't need programmers in the future? Absolutely not. It's just that coding is no longer a prerequisite to being a good programmer, right? You need someone who needs, understands other things, understands the business, understands security, understands how data connects to different systems. In the future, the ability to design and monitor AI agents that are actually doing these jobs is going to be as important, if not more important, than hiring and managing.